Hey, and welcome back to Spider-Man. The Shadows, this part should be more interesting now that we're done with that Venom fight. Oops, Stark International. Yeah, even though... Yeah. Kind of gay that the only appearance Iron Man makes in this is on a billboard, though. I kind of wish they had more superheroes rather than just Wolverine and Moon Knight and Luke Cage. <laughs> Sounds like a lot when you say it like that, but it's really not. Compared to some of the other <laughs> games, yeah. Yeah. Like Spider-Man Friend or Foe. I mean, that had like tons of superheroes in it. Too bad the game is garbage. Yeah, but the cast list is pretty good. <laughs> but then I guess it is better not to shoehorn in a bunch of characters. Yeah, but... Would have been nice to see them. Well, I guess as long as they're not playable, it's fine. And as long as it makes sense to the story. Yeah. Which it didn't like... really for friend or foe. No, it's like, uh, Go on, my superpower isn't enough to save the world. We must team up. Wow, with a Spider-Man hit score. I mean, superhero team team ups are always fun, but. Yeah. Whatever. Although I think you'd think that they would have used like more famous superheroes rather than like. Moon Knight. Yeah. But then I guess the more famous like, the more famous superheroes though have been like used to death already. Well, not all of them, like Captain America. I mean, sure. Captain America's barely in like any video games. Apart from like Marvel or Alliance. Has he had his own video game? No, but he will when the movie comes out. I wonder what that game's gonna be like. He might have had one on the NES, I don't know. I mean, yeah. So yeah, we're just finding Venom's pods. Yeah. Luckily, you only have to find three, so it doesn't take really long. The best way to do this is to, uh... Web zip them and... Do the triangle, like press triangle when you hit them. Or Y if you're on Xbox. Yeah. You know what really annoyed me about this game? What? The fact that the Wii got unlockable costumes, but the PS3 did. It's weird how the Wii version, though, was like this. Like a 3D game like this. But then yeah. for the PS2 version, they made it like some crappy 2D game. Yeah, I really don't see that. Why couldn't they just port the Wii version? Seriously. I wonder what the Wii version is like, though. Never played no. it. I think it was just like this, just with like a lot lower graphics. With unlockable costumes. Uh oh. There's one thing I like in a game, it's unlockable costumes. Or just unlockables in general. Yeah. So yeah, this is pretty, pretty exciting stuff here. Not to mention the fact you suck at web me. Thank you. We well, do. I mean, when I do it, it's a lot faster. <laughs> well, if I could web zip and double jump, we'd we'd already be done with the game by now. <laughs> I don't, I don't really like the I don't really use the web zip in this very often. It's a lot more useful than like Ultimate Spider-Man, and this web swinging is a lot more useful. Well, because in Ultimate, you you actually get to web swing off buildings. Yeah, and this you can just do it off the air. Should make sense. But you know what? Also, it's not very fast in this. When you're playing as a guy in a spider costume, shooting webs out of his hands, I don't think sense is really what you're going for. Probably not. You know, of course. Especially if it's the movie where a guy cries too much and makes a fifty thousand dollar suit when he's at college. But I brought you flowers and your red hair, Spider-Man. <laughs> it's because you cry too much. Took a grenade to the face, man. More advanced in every way, huh? Venom. 
I guess I'll just surrender my tank, tank missile. missile. Take long for the authorities to show up. <laughs> then I held a press conference and told the world I'm Iron Man. What? You can't reveal your secret identity? Well, I did, and I'm awesome, so in your face. Anyways, and what are we doing next? Oh, I know what we're doing next. Probably yeah. Why? It's a walkthrough. It's gonna get spoiled anyway. Well, we're building up tension. Wow. I'm sure everyone watching this is like on the edge of their seat right now. <laughs> Leisurely web, web swing through New York City. Pretty exciting. Spectacular, spectacular Spider-Man. Once once we get to the symbiote invasion, though, things are going to start kicking up. Not really. It'll be exactly the same. <laughs> True. To be honest, the the mission, what you actually have to do in the missions doesn't really change that much. I think this is what, that's why the um this game got a lot higher, I mean, a lot lower reviews than, like, other Spider-Man games like this. Well, at least every mission wasn't a boss fight. Yeah, but at least the Ultimate Spider-Man ones were interesting. <laughs> True. You got in that did get kind Stop. of annoying. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's this mission? A boss fight. Wow. What's this mission? It's another boss fight? What? Like, pretty much every mission in that game was like, chase the villain, fight the villain, chase the <laughs> villain, fight the villain. Yeah. There was the one Venom mission where you had to escape after beating the villain. But and mixing it up. Yeah, it's like fight the villain, escape the villain, ah, run away. Wow, we're stereotypical guys in blue. And I don't think Shield soldiers ever look like that in the comics. Like, did, Black, did Black Widow just walk through that soldier? <laughs> wow, that's an amazing glitch. Oh, and Electro. Yay! Where is he? What is up with his mask? Did it, I wonder if anyone ever watched like the Masters of the Universe live action film? But he looks like Skeletor did at the end of that film. The mask. If you've seen it, you'll know what I talk about. Or if you've seen, like, the Nostalgia Critic review. Now we're getting some Ultimate Spider-Man action, you know. Chasing the villain. Yay! Although it's not as annoying as Ultimate Spider-Man. Well, the Electro Chase in that game. Yeah. Oh this Electro Chase is a lot nicer. <laughs> and it's, it's pretty rare that Electro will actually get away. Yeah, Eve he actually can't escape at the moment, but eventually he can, but it's pretty hard to uh, lose him. <laughs> and Electro's got to have like one of the most satisfying, like, just dodging Electro's attacks is, I don't know, it's really satisfying. Yeah, like, yeah, in your face. He has got some pretty cool powers though. In this game, yeah. I, I still love how like lazy they were with his name. <laughs> well, yeah, but, that... but he was like invented in like the 60s. All superhero names were lazy back right then. Well, they still kind of are. Spider-Man, Batman, Iron Man, yeah, but, Superman. But Spider-Man and Batman were made in like 60s. Electro, so was Superman. Superman was made in like the 40s. Marvel's first superheroes were uh, Fantastic Four, right? Uh, I think so. And surprisingly, there were no mans in that. The what? There were no, like, mans. Like, you know, like... Yeah. There wasn't a woman, a woman, but that's about it. I don't know, was it the Fantastic Four or was it Captain America? Because I know Captain America was, like... 40s. Well, even if it was Captain America, at least he wasn't America Man. 
that would be kind of funny.